yes, yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Oh. Good morning. How are you doing? <clears throat> good morning. Good. I'm fine, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Yes, I'm doing well too. Thank you. Uh, so please tell me a little about you. Actually, yeah, ma'am. Support. <clears throat> Actually, my name is Biswanath Gorang, and I hail from Jharkhand. Uh, I'm a graduate. And uh, if I'm talking about my qualification, then I am a graduate and I do teach uh, in, in a private school. But uh, almost three or four months, I have been off. I've been here at home. Okay. So are you not working now? No, not, uh, not in a school, you can say, but uh, I do teach in a coaching institution at, in the evening. And apart from uh, this, uh, I I have a home tuition as well. Two two or three home tuitions are there. Oh. So what do you teach? I if uh, I go to home tuitions, then I teach almost all subjects because they are kids some class seven students. Then one is in class eight, a girl is in class eight, and uh, if I talk about in the coaching. Where I teach, then I teach almost uh, only spoken English. There I teach, uh, is, uh, there I teach uh, two students, number of students at a time. It means uh, in, in, in somebody is class seven, somebody is class eight, mm -hmm. but this is all together. They sit together in a class, not <clears throat> the same class. Okay, somebody is in class nine, somebody mm -hmm. maybe eleven also in class eleven also. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, uh, further going, ma'am, can I uh, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel? <clears throat> no, 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 ma'am, no. I don't have any YouTube. Okay, yeah, sure. And because I don't because I, because I don't have time <laughs> to do for technical class. I am not a technical person, and I don't have time also. Okay. So, uh, did you watch my videos? Is that from where you got yes, my content? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I almost uh, watch your video uh, when do you uh, when they were you upload. I try to upload, uh, <clears throat> see. Right. Yeah. So as you know, you know my name, and I live in Karnataka. I used to work as a spoken English trainer before starting my YouTube channel. Now I just run my YouTube channel. It's been around five months. So I upload basically conversation as you always. I mean, as you already know. Uh, mainly, I upload conversations and some spoken English content as well. So I'm a full-time homemaker, and that is it. Well, coming to my profession, I'm just doing YouTube full-time. Ma'am, there is a question regarding to: Have you ever worked in uh, English Yari or uh, any other 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 platform? I have worked on Ink Talkie for five months. Ink Talk. Okay, okay. I have seen you. <laughs> That's why I, I, I am recalling that uh, you are. Somewhere I have seen you in the platform. At which okay. platform I do not uh, remind, but uh, I have seen you your videos. Okay. Some particular platform. Mm -hmm. so I we... almost I almost watch. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Continue. No, I was asking you like, did you buy any subscription from Ink Talkie, or did you watch videos which uh, some other learner had uploaded? No, no. I have uh, I haven't uh, buy any subscription, but uh, I do. Check some of the um, videos whenever it's uploaded. Whenever means uploaded, then I do check some conversational videos where I have made your videos. Yes, you must have seen my videos then. Yeah. Yeah, 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 ma'am. Yeah. <clears throat> so is the so weather what type of as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is. It is requiring hot now. It is mid March have come. So in Jharkhand, almost uh, it, you can say April or mid March or March 20 from the heat is beginning start. Heat level is beginning to start. I think uh, almost up 10 days, April 1st or 2nd, we will have much, it <laughs> will be only hot, <laughs> hot mm -hmm. weather there. Mm -hmm. How is the weather? How is the weather in Karnataka, man? It is hot as well. It is hot here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think average but, would uh, be around 32, 34. Yeah. But but you must be almost uh, uh, experiencing hot weather uh, throughout the year. Throughout the year, but hot, uh, yes, it is usually hot throughout uh, the year. But winters also is quite bearable. It is not very cold in the winters, maybe around eighteen twenty degrees. 
Yeah, that much only. But it here, is not here, but. But here the things are different <laughs> in Dharakan, West Bengal, UP. Here the extreme cold uh, weather is there. Um, means uh, eight degree in the night, seven degree, sometimes six degree in Rachi. In Dhanbad, the, the hot, the, the cold is not from here. But uh, if 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 you talk, if I talk about the night weather, then it uh, remains in eight degree, nine degree in the winters. Not mm-hmm. now, not now mm-hmm. in the winters. Mm-hmm. Mm. But here it is only. I'm talking about my city. Uh, if you go to the, if you go Bangalore or some other places, it is cold. But the city that I live in, it is not very cold. Yeah. So which city, ma'am, do you help from? Ah, uh, there's a city called Raichur. Oh, Raichur. It is in Karnataka itself. Yes, it is. It in is Karnataka itself. Oh. Oh, yes. I have visited uh, once uh, south. Uh, I have visited Chennai. Or oh, Vellur, I visited Vellur once. So for and my brother's statement, ah, that is in Tamil Nadu. For my brother's statement, he is no more. <clears throat> he is my younger brother. He was my younger brother. But uh, once I visited for treatment also. Oh. So I haven't experienced. I haven't experienced much uh, because uh, the treatment and the mindset is uh, different altogether. Mindset was altogether different. So I haven't visited much, but I visited uh, somewhere in the Tamil Nadu, Chennai, Vellore. I restricted to locality. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, you were about to ask me some question. Yeah, 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 ma'am. So I'm asking you, ma'am, as uh, you were, um, <clears throat> you were, uh, you are uh, a spoken spoken English uh, journey. You are on. Your, and you are um, you have worked on different platforms regarding it so if 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 beginners come to me and i am also learning it and um, so just as uh, i am a spoken english teacher so if they be any beginner so how can we start the um, start means how can we start to build up confidence in a beginner a uh, confidence in a beginner first of all the beginner has to be motivated to learn this language they need yeah. to have motivation otherwise no matter how much you try they will not learn it so firstly they yeah. should be motivated then i would say you can start off with basic daily use sentences to start off with even beginners i would say they should be able to understand the language because we are yeah, learning yeah, yeah. so i assume they understand the language they should start off with daily use sentences then i should i would say they should read a lot of books reading and listening from there you will get grammar and vocabulary because in order to speak english you need some words right you need vocabulary to speak then when you learn a little bit of grammar you will know how to frame sentences so i think like like that they can start learning learn a little bit of grammar a yeah. little bit of vocabulary uh, learn your daily use sentences from there you can pick up Yeah, yeah, ma. Yeah, here yeah, the problem is from beginners. I, I, I teach them. Suppose, suppose, just suppose that if they, if they were able to say in the past, if they were um, supposed to say uh, in the past, then they start in the present. Then. They, they start, they start the framing as a present. Then. If they are supposing the, the suppose they were saying uh, the, the Sita was going to school. Now what? They are saying the Sita is going to school. What is the problem? <laughs> Sentence uh, subject verb agreement was not proper, proper with yes. the beginners. Hmm. <clears throat> Difficult, This right? This is a common know, problem. People have an issue with past tense. I spoke to yeah, many yeah. learners who who admit that I am not very good while when it comes to talking about past tense. So I think that will yeah. come with practice and regularly. You need a person who will correct you. Are uh, telling that you are talking in the present, so to talk about the past. So like that, if you keep correcting your mistakes and speaking, you will improve sooner. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, ma'am, uh, I say uh, I know I want to know that uh, your teaching background, where where you. <clears throat> I mean to say, I mean to ask you uh, how you how you are become fluent in English. How I have become fluent in English because. I used to go to an English medium school when I was a child. Yeah. So from then I have been learning English. I have been speaking in English to my friends 
at my home to my siblings and my dad so my dad was the person who all the credit goes to him because he was very much interested in training me with communication skills english and any any language for that matter he wanted that i should know more languages so i would uh, say the credit goes to him from him i learned how to speak i practiced how to speak so since childhood it is going on means uh, you got the environment what he needed yes and we didn't we didn't get uh, yes yes uh, because i i have seen uh, in, in a lot of environment plays a very good role in english in english in any in any language communication not Correct. not in english because uh, if you get the environment then although we read we read books no matter but we if you get the environment plus the environment then we have a sufficient amount of knowledge that's what i am okay. trying to say no? yes yes you are absolutely learned. absolutely correct see when we have environment you need not even try by default mm, you learn yes. the language by listening uh, suppose uh, you by, are by listening from, by default uh. yes suppose you are from north india and if you come and live in karnataka for at least one year by default you will learn kannada by listening you will learn mm, to understand yes. the language so by by, by listening to, by listening uh. yeah by listening by you listening will learn what the, yeah you will be able yeah. to understand the language but when you want to speak kannada you will have to speak right Exactly. So when you have that environment, that is the power of environment. You will be able to understand yeah. very quickly. And speaking also, you will have everyday practice. So everyday practice, yeah. you can imagine, it will help you tremendously in order to improve your fluency. So yeah, environment yeah. plays a vital role. And because because I have seen, I have also, I also read in English medium school. <clears throat> But here in North English India. Yes, yes, yes. I also studied in English medium school. But here the environment is not there as sufficient in the southern part. Here in northern India, you will if if you are going to English medium school, but that uh, even even English teacher <laughs> doesn't speak in English. He he always uh, teach in in the period. He is suppose this is an English period going on. So he just grammar. He sticks to his uh, he sticks to his task. He sticks to his basic task. Then after the class, he will not speak in English. That's why I am trying to say. So you yeah. you don't get the you do not get the environment fully environment. Correct, correct. That is missing and, here. That is missing here. Hmm. Mm. And what about children? And unless, uh, yeah, yeah. Please come. What about? Please come. Please come. Uh, unless and unless and until you do not get the proper environment, you will not be able to speak is be in the be be with the in language. That's yes. what I am trying to say. be in the language. Yes. Yeah, you cannot be. You should be constantly in touch with the language. If you are ah. there, then you will improve faster. Then you will improve faster. Forget. Otherwise, you forget. You tend to forget because you are human. Be we are human beings. We are. We have to do this. We have to do that. We have to do that. How can how can we remain in touch? We have to be in touch with the language. It may be. It may be any language. I'm not saying right. that it is you no. Know, if if I suppose if I speak Punjabi. So I have to be in Punjabi culture all the time, from morning till night. I have to be in this culture mm. so that I can I can be remain instilled with the words, with the how to frame sentences, how anybody if if small sentence how is he framing or how she is framing a sentence. <clears throat> right. That's why it is very very necessary. Mm -hmm. That's what I am. <clears throat> And. what about children of nowadays because you are teaching spoken english to children now right are they interested yes. or are they coming just because of their parents pressure yes i i think one or two guys just for example if i if i do sessions to 15 just khidki band kar do ha dono band kar ma'am you do you know hindi yeah yeah i know hindi Oh, a <laughs> lot of a uh, lot of from South India do not I think uh, do not know Hindi very much. Yes. But I have listened. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are not very they are not very common in Hindi. Yes. In But I have say, I have listened to you. I listened to you that you spoke you spoke in Hindi. Yeah, yeah. That's why I am. Mm -hmm. But that's good. <clears throat> so because of this, they are not uh, very much in interested. 
आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई सेल्फ uh they come for in the like working field when they are looking for work then mm. they will understand how important it is but by the uh, how, how important it is it actually it will be late for mm. them because when you you need to start early so that by then you will be prepared to face the world afterwards you face have to world. suffer and right? you will won't be getting job you won't have career growth at that time you will have to suffer and again you have to start learning communication skills and english so it is better they start early Yes, they they do not the uh, maybe maybe their age maybe they are a, a simple age so that they they do not um, take it seriously maybe that they see the they see the problem with them they do not take it seriously then they start is teaching what is the reference what is the when you when it will be come up in the um, in the practical this they, they see it they see this they just teach this they just try to is a fun they do not take yeah. it seriously yes. Fun and time pass. <clears throat> no, fun and time pass. <clears throat> They do not take it seriously. I, I, it should be there. <clears throat> yes. So what? Yes. Hmm. So now, like when you compare how we were as uh, students, how we were as students while going to school, and children of today. So do you notice any change in behavior and attitude in that relationship between children and teacher? yeah when uh, our times who the teachers were bit restrict bit most of the teachers were restrict tightness and restrict and we have to follow rules and regulations but uh, in today's era because i have teached in school different types of school i have almost uh, i taught uh, yeah i have been taughting teaching in english schools for 10 almost 10 years but in today era i have i have not seen that much uh, we cannot force we cannot reinforce we cannot uh, um, we cannot be more strict to towards the students because the yeah. government has uh, pressurized uh, government has uh, cut off our hands <laughs> yeah we cannot do much more uh, <clears throat> we cannot do much more regarding discipline <laughs> and if Correct. you try if anybody if any individually trying then he should be <coughs> he should be <coughs> what yes. can i say he should be let it off and hmm. and even so parents this, this thing is there things days right even parents are sensitive yeah. they don't want the teacher to be strict with the child or tell something to the child mm-hmm. but when we were children yeah, parents yeah. used to come and tell our uh, teachers if she, if they do something wrong you scold them you punish them but mm. now parents ha- are more sensitive don't tell anything to my child don't scold them don't be strict with them they say that yeah 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 and uh, one thing w- w- i also add to it even if if i compare if i compare to rural parents and in uh, city city or urban parents the rural parents are sens- sensitive they they say they say even i have uh, teached uh, almost i have to- taught uh, one or two they 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 say me that uh, you you should be punishable you would punish it if 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 the child is uh, not uh, behaving like uh, in indiscipline then beat him or try to scold him try to but in uh, urban parents they, they do not want to be strictness <clears throat> this is the common thing i have found yes yes yeah that you know i this have one, this one. One experience also if if mm. they beat or our child or punish their child we go and mm. fight with the teacher you are not supposed uh, yeah, to yeah 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 we are not supposed to do it so this is the thing that i am i have been experiencing <clears throat> yes so anything else you want to add you want to ask any no. question no no ma'am i think uh, i have in a hurry i have to uh, i have to go okay. somewhere so just okay. that's why i i am taking late so we have another session okay ma'am we will have another session
definitely thank okay thank you for joining today i took a short notice you know i mailed you yesterday and you joined me today so thank you for that it was really lovely talking yeah, actually, to you actually actually ma'am actually ma'am i don't have time but uh, since you have mailed me so i just uh, be in a hurry i uh, mailed you okay that's the thank case. you okay. thank you have a good day okay 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 okay, okay ma'am bye bye, bye.